Hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are back in principle or basically right now we are in sketch but we are going to move this user interface into principle. We will create a screen transition between these two screens and between these items. So basically we have an article here that you can add to your card and this is basically the card. So we will add a transition from this button to this screen. Now what we are going to do first is to get rid of this empty card that we had right there. And yeah, the link to this user interface will also be down in the description. Now we are going to not only switch this to a centered position, but we are trying the new sketch uh, resize functionality out that I also made a video about. So we have to prepare the stuff right here a little bit before we can do that. So the first thing that I would like to that I would like to customize is this button. Now we have some font right in this button and I would like to make them float in place. So it keeps the position in the button within the button. I would like to have this text layer stay pinned to a corner as well as this. The features they should also stay pinned to a corner and also this like headline article uh, like name and this one should be pinned to a corner as well as the color like this. Right now we should be able to draw to drag it to the right. I'm not sure what this text and these icons are here, right here are going to do but we will test it out right now. So let's try it out and you see it's like perfectly uh, making a, like a perfect scaling to get a bigger view like that. Reposition it. That's basically all the stuff that we are going to do before we transfer this user interface to principle. Now let me open up principle and here we will just import the UI that we just customized like that. For some reason the second screen is now the first one but that's not a big problem we can just drag it and it's automatically repositioning the screen. Okay, so we, as I said, want to animate this part. When I click the Add to Cart button, select the group, click on this and select Tab and drag the tab to the second screen, like that. The next thing that we're going to do is to create some transitions because at the moment what it just does is it randomly animates some stuff because they have the same name and it's not really doing a great animation. So what we're going to do is to look at the animation and to sort out or to like change the names of the elements that have a weird screen transition. And for example we have this arrow right here which is having a weird transition so I just say this is arrow 1 and this is arrow 2. So this should actually be fixed right now. But we have this background shape which still looks kind of weird. So like, let's look into this base card. Let's call it base card 2. And we have of course some items right in there that still look weird. So I just add a 1 to all of these elements. That's basically all you have to do. Change the names to get rid of this weird uh, animation that is happening. And right now we have this text and we have some lines right here at this X that we also going to change. So change just the name of them and we have this text as I said so we will just go and say this is the title one this should do the trick. Ah, okay, the price is still changing. But right now, it's just a normal screen transition without any 
animations and so on happening. You see that we have the same background image in both screens. Now this could actually mean that we can like animate all the elements that are on the screen. And what I would like to do is to get rid of all these elements by saying that these elements will switch to the top. They will go to the top, they will like get invisible and we do that by, copy and by copying all the elements that we have right here that we want to get rid, get rid of. Now select all of them, copy all of them and paste them at the top of the second artboard. Now this looks kind of weird I know but what we are going to do now is to change their position on the second screen. This will make them go up. We could simply say we want all of them to just go up like this, which look, would probably look very line, linear, like this. But we can also say we want to change the speed of each of these parts so we will have a better transition. So for example, let's grab the brand and let's say the brand should be the fastest one, like this. Then we have the page control. The page control should, is right there, should be at the, should be the third one. So we grab the product first. You can also change the hierarchy right there. Change the product, as I said. This should be the second one, like that. Then we can go and select the page control. Make it faster or leave it about like that. Some small adjustments right there. And then we have this huge product card that we are of course also changing. So we have this product card, look for it in this animation panel and say it should take the longest. So you see that we don't really see a huge difference between these elements. So I guess we should say this should take like one second, the product should take about this time and the brand should be maybe like this. So ha let's have a look. Yeah, now you get a sense of what I actually wanted to do. I just saw that I didn't copy or... Ah, the page control should be like right there in the layer hierarchy. And now we see that we have different elements going to the top in a different speed. But all of these elements are going to the top above this uh, status navigation bar. So we should say the status bar should actually be our top layer like this. So right now when we play it again you see that we don't have this problem anymore. It looks like a better animation right now but I don't like the fact that all these elements right here on our second screen are just there. They aren't like flying in or something, they are just like already placed in the background. So what we can do about that is to just copy all of the content that we have right here in our second artboard. And I just select all of them and we paste it on the, at the top of the first artboard. Now this may look kind of weird, but you will get what I mean in a second. Now what we are going to do is to, oops, to reposition this artboard somewhere. You know, I got a small problem right now. Maybe you can help me with that. If I'm going to select these layers that I just copied and I want to display them at the right side next to my artboard, they are just above the, first, uh, the, the second artboard. So I don't really have a, an ability to just see the content of my second artboard because they are just above this artboard and I actually don't want to do that. Maybe you have some tips for me uh, to get rid of them because at the moment I can't really see that we can reposition 
this second screen or second artboard. But we will just leave it like, ah, okay. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I was actually talking right now and as I uh, dragged them to the right, it automatically placed the second artboard to the right. So yeah, just forget about that. Sorry for this small, like, not really mistake, but for the small problem. You don't have to comment to about this anymore. Okay, so let's get back to this. Click Add to Cart and we see that we get a nice animation that we will fine tune in a second because the elements are still sliding up and the content is already getting delivered. That's not what we want. I would like to make the product car a bit faster like this. It should look actually better right now, but the content elements right here are getting to our screen too fast. So select the elements that are like annoying in their current transition, which is the checkout card and which is also this checkout card number two. And we will try some other things. Now let's place them next to each other. And we can say that we want the first checkout card to be really quick. But it should of course take a little bit longer because of the transition of the first screen's elements. Um, and we have the second card which should also take a, even a little bit longer as the ch first checkout card. You see they are floating in nicely but still too fast. Let's try it like this. Still too fast. <laughs> Just try it out, just try to create a nice transition. I think actually we should change these elements right here. I think it should work better right now. It's almost perfect, just a little bit longer. We can also of course change uh, the way they are like transitioning. It currently is the default way. We can of course also create different speeds and so on. But I will just keep it at default. And as I said, just try it out. I would of course like to have the top content sliding out before our actual new content is coming in. Almost done. We are almost done. So you see that this whole transition is now like looking very slow. That's not what we wanted and I didn't really thought about that. But what we actually need to do is not to only make it like slower, we also are just able to say we want to move this whole uh, like transition to say it should be at a later, that it should begin at a later point. This should actually fix our problem and it, yeah, it actually really fixes our problem like that. We still have this content right here that should actually just fade in if you ask me. I would like to have this uh, checkout button just fading in maybe as well as this uh, price text. So let's try this out. I will move it to the original screen again. I changed the opacity to 0% and it should fade in nicely. We could of course do the same with this text. Let's just try it out. Let's get it to our original screen. Like that, centered and also 0% opacity. So if we click it right now, it should actually create a nice screen transition, but you see that we don't see a 
transition from zero to 100% of these elements right here because this is like taking some time but after we saw the animation for a couple of times I think we can say we could leave it like that or we just create some small adjustments. So I have to say I actually like the way this is turning out. I really love the way these elements go up and the second screen's elements just fade in like that. Really nice. As I said, just uh, change the starting point of these two cards and you don't have to make them like three seconds long because if I would say go for three seconds this would look very odd. You see how boring, how long this would take, way too long for the user to not be annoyed by it. And right there, it's just working fine. It's just working the way we want it to transition it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. Of course, the link to the sketch file and to the uh, principal file are down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it just give me a thumb up button or like smash the thumb up button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't and thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you!